One, two. Can right I get here? you both right here, please? Thank you very much. And look here. This yeah. feels like if the Emmys Perfect. took a day off Perfect. and <laughs> everyone just kind of showed up. <laughs> no, it's great. It's really fun. It's. I don't think anyone doing a web show expected this except maybe Joss Whedon. So, <laughs> it's good. It's fun. You know, it's just, it just shows you how quickly and how rapidly the entertainment industry is changing. And you know that it's a new medium that's really coming into play and it's a strong force now. So who knows what's going to happen within the future. I think I think this is really exciting. It's so it's it's really liberating for, for an actor or for for um, any creator of content to be able to have complete control, and the web is offering that right now. So I think this is where it's at, and it's where it is right now, and uh, we're happy to be a part of it. Uh, it's kind of cool to see the whole web world uh, dudded up, and look at, we, we clean up well. We clean up very well. Web TV is blowing up. It's, it's, it's huge now, and it'll be very exciting to see where it'll be in a year. One year from now, with the next stream, news to see what, what happens. Yeah, yeah. What's happening tonight is historic. With web entertainment taking off, I think in the next decade, this will be the mainstream media. I mean, feature films will always be around, but television and what we know is, as television is dramatically changing. So this is it. You know, we have this high production value show um, that we did for very little money. The technology is And to any other filmmakers out there, like this really is wasn't interested in so much better than doing the old make a short film, do the festival circuit. Because we did that, you know, Steph and I did that for years, and now it's like, no, web, get your audience, see what happens. And web absolutely changes everything. Yeah. Um, it's, and to be on the front lines of, of this. And here we are at the Streamies Award, uh, you know, nominated for six awards. I mean, I don't care if we win any. Yes, you do. Well, I kind of do, but I'm like, you know what? He does a little. I li a little bit, but it's, it's more than that. It's, you know what? Just to be nominated, like, all this press and all this attention we're getting, that's fine. I'm good with that. What are you feeling? This is amazing. I mean, just look at all these fancy people. You, usually you know everybody, and I'm like, who are half of these people? So, uh, I feel like uh, it's getting the, the attention it deserves, and since we all don't get paid very much doing what we do, it's pretty nice to have a celebration night. You know, for a long time, web television was the antithesis of television, you know? And now it's like synthesizing. We're, we're kind of one, and tonight really proves that, and I think that's really, really important to stress, and hopefully somebody will say that tonight in the speech. I'm so excited because there's going to be so many people here. Are you, are you rooting for someone in particular? I'm kind of friends with everybody, so I kind of, I'm not rooting for anyone in particular. <laughs> did you, uh, did you cast your uh, audience choice? Uh, I did. Do you know how yes. No. I'm, I'm rooting for the guild because I know all those cats and I was in it a little bit and uh, sorority forever on the drama side. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you? Dr. Horrible. Dr. Horrible all the way? I'm, I'm, an, I'm an NPH fan. And I went for uh, the Guild because it was the Guild was really the first uh, the first web show that I actually followed and watched like every episode and would be like waiting to see where it's going to go next and uh, so yeah that that was really the introduction to the medium for me so I think you got to you got to give it to the granddaddy of them all really I, I wanted to be a variety of people to win I don't I don't I love the Guild and I love Doctor Horrible but I don't want him to win every award I'd like it to be spread out evenly um, love Doctor Horrible I think it's a great great series very funny high end talent. Um, and very deserving of it. Um, the Onion for um, news. It's pretty much the Rolls Royce of, of that genre. But what's really cool is that this is such a closed and tight community that you know everyone in these different things. Sean Becker is up. He, we did comedy gumbo for him at Sony. So it's like, how do you pick your favorite child? When you've worked with so many of the people, it really is evidence of all the cross-pollinating that's going on. And I think that's great. No, Dr. Rumble is my, sw my sworn enemy. Today. Even though I love the show, I'm supposed to hate them. Right. Because yeah. I understand. Joss Whedon's going down. He's going down. Well, Neil, the Guild, and Dr. Horrible were all up for audience That's choice. Right. So that became very difficult for our Twitter, Twitter followers right. to. So I asked them to rotate daily. Um, but for Captain Blast, though, to be nominated, we're actually blown away. I mean, that's a, it's a series we film with a budget of $7,000. Um, you know, so for even to be nominated with these other great series is just, you know, that's more than we could ever hope for. Yeah,
Yeah, it's absolutely uh, it's remarkable, you know, uh, for, I mean, because that show is, you know, of course, everyone loves that and, uh, show, so for us to even be considered in the same <laughs> sentence with those guys, and, uh, yeah, that, that alone is a good enough compliment lane. for us. We could have our own web series in the streaming world. That's an idea. It's like, you all did not know that you were extras tonight for the streaming awards.